Welcome to ECLEMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In Form 1, we discussed a topic, Rectilinear Propagation of Light, which lies under a branch of physics, geometrical optics. In that topic, we discussed light traveling in a straight line in an homogeneous medium. Then we discussed the proofs that light traveled in a straight line. Then finally, we looked at how light which is traveling in a straight line interact with plane surfaces. And in that case, we discussed plane mirrors and we saw how images can be formed in a plane mirror. In this new topic, reflection at curved surfaces, we are going to discuss light which is traveling in a straight line and how it interacts with curved mirrors or curved surfaces. And in this case, we are going to discuss three important curved mirrors or curved surfaces, that is concave mirrors, convex mirrors, and parabolic mirrors. And we are going to see their applications in daily life like side mirrors, shaving mirrors, dentist mirrors, and much more. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson and the topic in general. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the introductory part of reflection at curved surfaces. Then later we are going to look at the type of curved surfaces that we have. Curved mirrors or curved reflectors are obtained by cutting a part of a hollow sphere. You can also obtain them from cutting a part of a hollow cone. Cones, remember, they look like this. So if you have a hollow cone, then you cut a piece of it. In this case, it's going to form a curved surface. Then if you have a hollow cylinder, this is a cylinder which looks like this. So if you cut this cylinder into two, you will obtain the upper part which is hollow or the lower part which is hollow. Now, if you silver and polish on one side, you silver one side and then you polish the other side, Depending on the type of mirror that you want, then you will obtain a, a curved reflector. Like in this case, if you need a convex reflector, then you are going to silver the inner part, then polish the outer part. In this case, if you do that, you will get the outer part, which is highly polished to be a convex mirror. If you need a concave mirror, then you are going to cut a piece of this hollow sphere then you are going to silver the outside part is silvered then you polish you polish the inner part and in this case you are going to obtain a concave mirror so concave mirror or convex mirror sometimes they are called spherical mirrors so we can now discuss the types of curved reflectors that can result from cutting a piece of a hollow cylinder a hollow sphere or even a hollow cone and in this case the first one is a concave reflector or a concave mirror and this is a type of reflector whose reflecting surface curves inward like in this case if you had your hollow sphere like this then you cut a piece of this sphere which now we can translate to what we have on the screen here so in this case if you take the outer part and you highly silver it. You silver this outer part. You do what we call silvering. Silvering is a process of coating a reflective material with silver or aluminium at the back of the glass to create a reflective surface in front. So in this case, we want this inner surface to be a reflective material so that we form a concave mirror. In this case, we are going to, to, to silver the backward part. This part which is curved is the one that we are going to silver. In this case, if we silver and this one is a glass, if you view from in front here, you will see a shiny surface. So that shiny surface is the one which is going to help us to reflect this light. So again, what you do to this surface, you highly polish it. In front here, where it's going to interact with light, you polish, you polish it highly, polishing it highly, means you, you are smoothening the surface in front of a mirror or of a reflective material 
to make it reflect light. So in this case, when you polish it, you make it to reflect a uh, regular rays. So for you to obtain a concave mirror, then you have to polish the reflective material. In this case, you, you, you polish the inner part and then you silver the outer part so that it can create a reflective material in front. So in this case, you will have a concave mirror. So the second type of a curved reflector that we have is a convex reflector or a convex mirror. And this is a type of reflector whose reflecting surface curves outward. Remember this is different from what we discussed earlier for concave mirror. In concave mirror, the reflecting surface curves inward. But in this case for convex, the reflecting surface curves outward. And in this case, if you had your sphere like this one here, then you decide to get a convex reflector from here, then you are going to cut a piece of it. Now we can enlarge it so that it looks like what we have here on the screen. This small part is the one that we have now on the screen as large. And now we want to make the outer part to be a reflecting surface. So in this case, we must smoothen. Smoothening, we say you are polishing. Polishing, you are making this surface smooth so that it can give out regular reflection. Now, if this part, all this uh, sphere was of glass, then what you are going to do, you are going to silver. You are going to silver the inner part. In, in silvering, you can apply either silver paint or aluminum paint. So in this case, this is the outer part, then this is the inner part. In this case, the inner part is silvered, and then the outer part is polished. When you polish it, then this side is the one which is going to interact with the light. Then in this case, you will have what we call a convex reflector. Remember, this is different or totally different from what we discussed earlier in concave. Because in concave, if you cut a reflecting surface like this, in this case, you are going to silver the outer part for concave. Then you are going to polish the inner part. So if you do this, you will get a concave because in this case, if you silver here, then the inner part is the one which will interact with light or will reflect light. If you polish it, you are going to make it smooth. And then in that case, it will give you a concave reflector. But for convex, you polish the outer part and then you silver the inner part. In this case, the front part, this will be the front part, which will be the reflecting surface. And then this will be the back part which will not be interacting or reflecting the right. The third type of a curved reflector that we have is a parabolic reflector or a parabolic mirror. And in this case, we're going to realize that it's almost similar to that of a concave reflector. However, in this case, the reflecting surface is more curved inward than that of a, a concave reflector. So in this case, if you have them here for comparison, then for concave, it's going to have a very small curve like that. Then for a parabolic, it's going to be highly curved. So in this case, this is a concave, and then this one is a parabolic reflector. However, in either case, this outer part here is highly silvered. Silvered means you are applying the silver paint or aluminum paint so that you make the opposite side to reflect light. Then also this one is highly silvered. This is silvered from outside. Then the inner part here is highly polished. It's polished. It means it paint or it is it is smoothened. So in this case it's polished. In this case it means this side is smoothened. And then when it is smoothened or highly polished, it's going to give out uh, regular rays or regular reflection and therefore in this inner part this is the reflecting surface so in this case these uh, parabolic reflectors are obtained from cones specifically if you have a cone like the one that we have on the diagram here this is a cone then you are going to cut a, a small piece of this cone like this so this uh, this part which will obtain here is the one which will give us a section that we have here and this one will be our parabolic reflector. And in this case, what do we do? We will do silvering on the back side. In this case, we will silver the outer part. Then we are going to.
to polish we are going to polish the inner part if we polish the inner part this part will be the one that will be reflecting light like that then the outer part is going to help this inner part to reflect light because silver or aluminium paints shine then that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss terms associated with curved reflectors